After arriving in Lima, we fly to Cusco at an elevation of 11,000 feet. This is the oldest continually inhabited city in the Americas. Our guide Fernando explains the city's history to us. Built in the shape of a puma's head, Saxe Holman is an Inca fortress above Cusco. During our visit there, we are able to meet many Peruvian natives. By bus, we travel to the Sacred Valley. Fernando takes us to see local artisans at work and the market. We travel by bus to a remote Indian village after lunch. Because they never use any socks or nothing here, because the heat is going to be preserved in the head here. The bright red colors of these crafts and clothes are made with natural vegetable dyes. The bread Fernando has brought for the villagers we eagerly help distribute. We board the train for Machu Picchu here next to the Urahamba River. From the town of Machu Picchu, we ascend by bus to the ruins. Fernando, despite poor weather, makes Machu Picchu a moving experience. The following day with good weather, we climb Huaynapichu for a few Kodak moments. The entire ruins of Machu Picchu behind us can be seen from here. After descending, we have Peruvian pizza and leave Machu Picchu for Cusco. In Cusco, our final meal is made quite unforgettable. Arriving in Iquitos after a heavy rainstorm, we have our first view of the mighty Amazon and board the La Matista. The following morning, we board the longboats for our first adventure.
As we arrive at the canopy walk, the afternoon rain is a downpour. Rennie guides us through the wet jungle to the nearly quarter mile of suspended bridges weaving their way through the canopy. The swaying of the suspension bridges can be unnerving. A visit to a large river village allows us to experience village life, animals, growing fruit, and children. <laughs> Candy toys and school items are exchanged for a song and a photo op. After returning to La Amatista, we experience a sunset on the Amazon. We leave the following morning for an early morning breakfast served by our guides, then on to piranha fishing. We are cautioned. Let the crew take the hook out. These teeth are for real and razor sharp. As we return to La Amatista, the crew promises at dinner we will try the catch of the day. These black socky monkeys we find in a tall tree are hunted for their bushy tails for use as dusters. All South American monkeys, like this one, came originally from Africa. We find these playful squirrel monkeys in the thick vines near our boat. We have an opportunity to visit a river village and see a demonstration of local crafts and of course shopping. This four day old monkey is the center of attention. A canoe full of piranhas is unloaded for market in Iquitos.
These cat fishermen live on this floating fish tank on their two-day upriver trip to Iquitos to deliver live fish. Riverinos, the Amazon River natives, live singly and in villages. We visit this single home and meet the children in a saw with her groupies. A shaman is the local medicine man. During our visit, Rene helps us understand the shaman's role in the village. The shaman tries to ward off our evil spirits with his smoke and incantations. We bid goodbye to the shaman and the villagers. Our life aboard the La Amatista includes happy hours, lectures by Jace, and dinners. Of the first American uh, to explore the uh, Amazon, particular We have an opportunity to see a large variety of birds on our many boat trips. These habaru, one of the largest birds we see, are spotted on a bank near the boat. These white egrets, herons and others make this a bird watcher's paradise. Amazon insects and frogs are not only plentiful, but diverse. We watch a soaring hawk catch the afternoon sun. A masked crimson tanager and wire-tailed mannequin are brilliant and unique examples of the Amazon's diversity. We see these yellow-billed terns almost everywhere. Tiny kingfishers are fast and colorful. Or a pendula make these unique hanging nests. Jose uses his machete to make a path through the thick jungle and to gather fruit. We find a termite's nest in a tree and Jose shows us the inhabitants. After a brief ceremony, we plant mahogany trees to help repopulate the Pacaya Reserve. Music 
first loss, these strange looking animals are one of the slowest moving of mammals. This sloth we find in a low tree is a dangerous spot for sloths, so we rescue him. We place the sloth in a taller tree and he climbs to safety in a nap. During our visit to the giant water lilies, we get to see these huge plants up close. La Amatista stops at Libertad, a river village, and we try the very tippy dugout canoes. On our final day, we shop at Quito's before our return to Lima. Except the trouble is